Welcome Leslie Saul of Leslie Saul & Associates. Hi Leslie. Hi. How are you? Excellent. Good. Why don't you tell us what Leslie Saul & Associates is? Leslie Saul & Associates <clears throat> is a, an architecture and interior design firm. I founded it 20 year, over 20 years ago now um, with a mission of trying to make the world a better place through design um, for people who work, play, age, live, and learn. And what kind of architecture do you do? So all of those categories about people who work is corporate interiors, people who play is people who sh is shopping, retail, restaurants, uh, fitness, that kind of work. Age is a lot of senior housing and um, low-income housing. Uh, for people who can age, the uh, work and then the live and learn is live is private homes primarily, and learn is academic projects. So we have a very broad range of work over the past twenty years. And marketing people have always said to me, "Oh, you need to focus. You need to focus." But it seems to have worked for twenty years, and it kind of suits my personality, which is um, people are people, no matter what the task is that they're doing. Right. And how long have you had this business? So more than 20 years now. More than 20. How many people work for you? It's about six, seven people. It's been pretty consistently. I wanted to be in the six to ten range. I'd been a part of a big firm and knew that the bigger the firm gets, the less I get to do. Right. So what did you do before you had the firm? I, had, I was a principal in another firm that was a big firm, and that's how if it's no longer in business. and That happens to architectural firms. It's been really tough. I truly believe that surviving this recession was primarily um, an act of stubbornness. I just didn't want to let go because big firms complained and were in the paper to say, you know, we're down 30 percent. Small firms were down 90 percent. Right. I've talked to a lot of my peers who were in the same boat, and um, it was tough. But we were very lucky through the recession to have some very high and high quality projects and that kept us going. So we've worked during the recession. We did um, designed a uh, house from scratch in Newton that was 15,000 square feet. And then we also worked on the interiors for the UMass Dartmouth Library. So those were live and learn projects. And uh, they were very big, very prestigious, came out great. Everybody's happy. That's a good thing. Right, right. Interesting. So, so the quality is better than quantity. So the field of architecture has been changing dramatically? 